Good morning. I'm the Reverend Dr. Scott Jones, Senior Minister of the First Central Congregational United Church of Christ. This coming Sunday is All Saints Sunday, and as we do every year, we will remember those in our congregation who have died in the past year. We'll honor and celebrate their memories. We also, we'll begin a new sermon series titled, Imagining Another World is Possible. That theme comes to us as our Neighbors in Need offering theme for the year. Neighbors in Need is a national offering of the United Church of Christ that supports a local missions work. And we here at First Central uh, take that offering and split it between our local missions in our congregation and also sharing with the national church uh, in their efforts. And so each week of November, you will be hearing uh, from our congregational outreach ministry about various of the local ministries uh, local ministry partners and efforts that we're involved in, things like Habitat for Humanity, Crossover Prison Ministry, uh, and others. I will also be starting a sermon series based upon Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s letter from Birmingham Jail. And this is a somewhat radical idea because I will be treating the letter itself as our authoritative text and the source from which uh, my sermon will come. We in the United Church of Christ believe that God is still speaking, and I believe that there is a word of God for the churches that remains relevant today in this letter, which celebrated its 50th anniversary earlier this year. This coming Sunday, my sermon is entitled Network of Mutuality, and will come from the first five paragraphs of the letter of Birmingham Jail, easily found online if you want to read and prepare. But in this opening session, section is where we hear these great words. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality, tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. So we'll set the context for this letter, talk about using it as a source of our worship and our proclamation and even those words, I think, connect back to our All Saints theme and reminding us of our connections to those who have died. So I look forward to a fun and creative month of November as we explore this letter together, as we talk about our local missions, as we imagine that another world is possible. I hope you have a good day. Share your own thoughts and ideas. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday.